This is Dung Down Life number 30. Snake eyes, dice, jello molds, and high beam lights. Every day I probably use 99 words for boo. Dumplings, hearty boys, double lattes, ode to joys, hooters, shooters, physics, tutors, Bobsy twins and ball commuters, double, double UMDs, MREs and PFBs, Snow White dwarfs, Picasso's cubes, 99 words for boobs. Gerbers, servers, holy grails, whoopee cushions, humpback whales, flying saucers, traffic stoppers, super big gulps, double whoppers, pillows, billows, Don DeLillos, soft serve cones and armadillos, pimped out hubcaps, inner tubes, 99 words per booze. Earmuffs, warming globes, strobes and probes and frontal lobes, knockers, honkers, knicker bonkers, smurfs and screaming yellow donkers, panning cannons, Mr. Biggs, big bad wolves and porky pigs, jogging partners, sailing youths, 99 words for boobs. Point jumpers, bambi thumpers, rubber baby buggy bumpers, rutabagas, Kai omegas, swag the showgirls show in Vegas, Congo bongos, bowling pins, fast pitch softball, Siamese twins, your claims I'm breast obsessed are true. We're quite a pair, cause I'm a boob. So after 12 shows, um, we finally hit a bit of a brick wall last week, and um, Darren had to go over to America, and he's offline for the next, um, well, two weeks now. Um, and neither Doug nor myself could... Um, get ourselves so we were together at the same point in time with birthdays and uh, social lives and such like so uh, yeah we missed a show we missed a week which is a bit unfortunate really we thought we were doing quite well with the um, the the rhythm of the show and the the routine we'd got into but uh, for some reason it just didn't happen last week um, and again this week I'm afraid it's just me you've just got me to worry about so uh, it's probably going to be a lot more music this week, uh, more than discussion, as it's quite difficult to have a discussion with yourself. But uh, I do have a couple of things I want to talk about. And uh, the first one is Iron Maiden. More importantly, Iron Maiden singer Bruce Dickinson. Now, we have mentioned Bruce uh, a few weeks ago on the Who Whoops Who. Um, I think it was possibly even the first Who Whoops Who we did. And... Um, He's a bit of a talented guy, is Bruce Dickinson. He's uh, a qualified fencer. Uh, was once asked if he could uh, represent England as the as an Olympic uh, fencer, but he chose to go with Iron Maiden instead, which I think, in retrospect, was probably a good decision. Um, he's also a trained airline pilot, and he regularly flies for British Airways to keep his. You have to fly so many hours a year to keep your license and to be able to fly at all 
and uh, he regularly flies with uh, British Airways to keep his flight hours up. But it seems he's added another string to his bow because he's uh, written a movie. He's written a horror movie that's due to be unveiled at the Cannes Film Festival. Uh, the film will star Simon Callow um, as Professor Hado. As he's the reincarnation of occultist Alistair Crowley. Um, so it's quite obviously going to be a horror movie. And um, it's been directed by Julian Doyle who also co-wrote the script with Dickinson. Um, and Doyle is the guy that um, directed Camo Play with Madness which was a video for Iron Maiden in the late 80s I think it was. And the thing that I always remember about Can I Play With Madness is that um, it's a, the, the video is basically centres around a, a kid who reads comic books and these comic books generally involved Eddie which is the mascot of Iron Maiden and he's out on a school trip somewhere and the head teacher catches him reading these uh, comics and um, I can't quite remember what happens in the video uh, I know the the headmaster ends up in some sort of uh, stonework cellar with a load of monsters, I think it is. Well, the headmaster was Graham Chapman from Monty Python, and that was the last ever tele uh, filmed performance of Graham Chapman. Um, so that's that's one thing I always remember about the film, but. Uh, it's going to be quite interesting to see uh, what this film is like. I, I, it's going to be shown at Cannes, but um, I'd be quite interested to see if it does get a general release, because I, for one, would definitely go and see it. So, uh, yeah, there you go. So, let's move on to another song, and this is by a band called Delilah Y, and it's called Walk On By. <laughs>
just a walk on by. Staying on the uh, the horror trip for a little bit, I uh, have another little story that um, I found on, I think it's another podcast that I listen to, um, and I think it's called Strange But True, and it's a podcast about um, the supernatural and strange things that people have heard. And one of the stories was of a, an investigation of vandalism in Romania. Um, now this case has been closed uh, by the police concluding that ghosts were to blame for the vandalism so I'll I'll read you the piece and it says uh, when the locals of and there's no way I can pronounce this name um, Lilechi or something I think it is (coughs) excuse me Um, they reported that windows had been broken bicycles were flying through the air objects were moving on tables and candles were blown out when there was no wind Um, when they complained that they were being hounded by evil spirits to the police quite understandably they were laughed at but uh, officers saw the evidence with their own eyes and filed a report saying that ghosts were to blame one local said that the windows started to break one by one and I saw two bicycles moving through the air on their own Um, and his sister I'm missing the names out because there's no way I can pronounce these uh, Eastern European names so um, you'll just have to bear with me I'll post a link to the uh, main story on the uh, show notes but um, anyway his sister who lives nearby said that um, there were cups flying around the house and candles I lit were blown out as soon as I put a match to them even though there was not a breath of wind in the house and a police spokesman said there were bottles and things flying around I did not know what to dodge first we can find nothing to suggest it was anything other than what the people claim and apparently a priest has been called in to perform exorcisms of the house in the town in the hope that the attacks will finally stop so um, that would mean that there is a a, um, a recorded case in 
Romanian police files of vandalism caused by ghosts. Um, I'm not sure how they go around prosecuting for that. What, do, uh, any ideas? I, I've no idea. And um, yeah, so quite interesting, I thought. Now, we haven't had any feedback this week again, um, mainly due to the fact that I think because we probably missed a week and what have you, but I keep a regular check on the, the stats for the show and over the last sort of 10, 11 shows we've been averaging around 50, uh, 50 listeners per show and this sort of, it, it's, it's great, I mean we're really happy with that sort of listeners. Um, some of them are in the 60s, some of them are in the 30s. Um, there was one show, I think it was number nine, I forgot to actually post in one of our live journal communities dedicated to promoting your podcast. And notably, that one's only received, I think it's below 20 downloads, so it seems most of our listeners are from live journal. And But I checked the stats the other day, and the last show that we did, number 12, we're, we're nearing a hundred downloads for this show and I've no idea why I've no idea where suddenly all these people have come from because that's pretty much doubled our listener base and I've absolutely no idea why what we've done differently or where it's been promoted <coughs> excuse me again we, I had a few weeks ago I registered the show with a lot of other podcast libraries like iTunes and Yahoo Podcasts and there were many, many others. I think I did about a dozen. So whether they're finally beginning to kick in and we're because we're producing regularly, it shows up regularly on their searches, I've no idea. But um, it's good. It's good to see that we're finally um, growing as a show. So hopefully the, the week's break and just me sitting here babbling on my own won't um, destroy all the good work that we've done. So, we can hope, can't we? Anyway, time for another song. This is uh, Rod Kim and Held Together. To the rest of my life. You know me, I talk too much. I say the same things all over again. And there are times I'm overthinking things and miss the point.
Well, that ended a little sooner than I thought it would. <laughs> um, okay, I did have another topic that I'd like to talk about, but I think I'm going to leave that for next week when hopefully there'll be uh, more than just me around, as I think it's probably going to be more of a discussion topic, and I don't want to waste it with just me talking. So um, that pretty much rounds us off for this week. It's, I know it's been a short one, and I do apologise, but uh, with just me, um, there's only so much scope for me waffling, really. Um, I'm more used to doing this kind of thing with the short bald one, my other podcast, which um, generally only lasts around 15 minutes. Um, this one's going on for about 20, 25 minutes, so um, longer than I'm used to doing on my own. Um, so if you'd like to contact the show, uh, you can email us at ddl.podshow at gmail.com. Uh, you can visit the website, which still needs working on, I know. Um, the URL for that is ddl.podshow.com. And you can follow us on Twitter to, to keep an update on when we are recording and when we are releasing the show. And our username is Dumbed Down Life. So until next week, um, I'll catch you later.